it's 4th of July and we're at Lebanon Valley for the test and tune. Um, I'm a little bit late getting out the Mid-Atlantic race. Um, just because we didn't get a whole lot of footage just because we had time but I was just exhausted. So the test and tune here is 12 to 5 I think so at least I got to sleep in a little bit and catch up on the lack there of sleep I've been getting. Um, but yeah so it's test and tune on Thursday and then I'm covered in dirt because I was just unstrapping the car. <laughs> uh, test and tune on Thursday, then we have qualifying on Friday, and then elimination Saturday and Sunday. But um, we'll keep you in the loop for everything. I haven't been to this track since 2021, so it's been a while. But um, yeah, so we'll let you know how it goes. We're gonna change my brake pads on my rear, and we just changed my distributor gear because it was misfiring at seat, uh, not Cecil. Um, at Maple Grove, so we're trying to clean that up. Looks like it should be cleaned up, but we'll find out today, so we'll keep you in loop.
through my first hit and I went at 1078 or 1079. So we looked at it, my misfire is cleaned up. Um, so that's a good sign. So I found this board and it clearly wasn't there. So second pass, I since I was red, I had a 10 delay. I came up 010 and I was a 1086, I believe. Um 130s all day. And then my third pass, I took five fell out, and I went double a five, and um, I went at 1085.7, I think, at 13092. So, third gear issue with the mess fires cleaned up, so we're moving in the right direction. So, we'll be in the loop for tomorrow's qualifying because of the weather. We're going to do all our hits tomorrow, and then do eliminations on Saturday. So, we'll be doing the loop for everything.
So quick post Lebanon recap. Um, I was going to try to get the massive video out from our first massive race at Maple Grove, but we lost a lot of the footage um, because of like storage on cell phones and everything. So basically what happened with Massa was I lost like around both days. Um, we were chasing a third gear misfire, which I mentioned in uh, earlier <laughs> in this video uh, that we were at Lebanon doing test and tune trying to clean up that misfire which it did we changed the distributor gear that cleaned that up a lot um but basically what happened at lebanon was my battery chargers went into recon well one of the charger went into recon because i have two battery chargers one on each battery and it drained the life out of both batteries so i barely got up there for our last time shot we were supposed to have one more but because of the weather we only got two and um I got up there in time, but like my batteries were really low. Like normally like they're around 60 on the low side to 100% charged when I take the car up to the lanes. And I think if I remember correctly, we were like 30. So um, overall it was low. Um, I can't remember my light in my last hit, but I ended up going like a 92. Um, so when we went into eliminations the next day, I dialed the car well, not dial, but I did the throttle stop according to that 92 run, and my batteries were at 100% for first round. So we did first round like late, like if I remember correctly, like three to five o'clock. And um, so I went based off that 92 run, and it actually, since my batteries were fully charged, we've noticed that it affects my electronics. So overlapping the race pack graph, the throttle stop opened way faster because the batteries were fully charged. So I ended up being 009 on the tree. He was 40 something. Um, I was chasing him, caught him. I lifted at the thousand foot and I just coasted through completely off the throttle from the thousand to the quarter, just coasted. Hindsight being 2020, should have hit the brakes, <laughs> but I didn't and I just coasted and I went an 87 and I can't remember what he went, but he didn't break out. So it sucked because I was 009 and I had the room, but then I got back and looking at all the numbers, car was flying and they were trying to figure out why the car was going so fast. And then we ended up figuring out it was probably because of the batteries. So something we learned is when the batteries get low, the car runs slower because our electronics don't open as fast, at least in our experience. This is what we've learned. I don't know about anybody else, but um. Yeah, so I wanted to do a quick Lebanon recap because I'm going to push this out today. Um, then it'll be Ohio, and then I don't know after that. I Maybe Massa. I think Massa's in between. It's just so hard because, like, we've pretty much been on the road for, like, six weeks. Like, we really haven't been home. And, like, when I have been home, I've been running around doing stuff or just trying to handle stuff with, like, a work situation. And then... I hurt my back so it's like we're running around and I just haven't even had a chance to like really sit down and put these videos together and now it's just like there's so much stuff it's overwhelming um but yeah so that was Lebanon and yeah there were I'm just gonna keep pushing them out trying to keep them in order in which they happened with the exception of the first mass race because I lost a lot of footage but yeah thanks for following along and We'll let you know how Ohio went.